Welcome back to our channel today. We have very sad news. In a tragic turn of events, Ken Mitchell, who had been suffering from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, for a considerable amount of time, passed away on Saturday as a result of complications that were related with the ailment. It is the roles that he played on the television program, Star Trek, Discovery that have received the greatest applause from people all around the world. This admiration is based on the critical accolades that he has received. An individual who was 49 years old at the time of the incident was the subject of this inquiry. Ken, who was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, was forced to undergo a series of terrible problems that were brought on by the disease over the course of five and a half years. These problems were brought on by the disease. These difficulties were brought about as a result of the sickness. The sickness was the root cause of a number of issues that were brought about by the illness itself. The following is an example of one of the statements that can be seen on Mitchell's official Instagram page. And in true Ken fashion, he managed to rise above each one with grace and commitment to living a full and joyful life in each moment. The statement in question can be found on the page that is being scrutinized. It is possible for you to view this statement that Mitchell has made on his Instagram profile, which can be accessed by clicking on the link that has been provided here if you are interested. The lessons that he picked up throughout his life, such as the fact that every day is a gift and that we are never alone on our journeys, were the ones that laid the groundwork for his existence. These teachings, which also served as the basis for his existence, had an impact on the decisions that he made in his life. These commandments, which served as the foundation for life, were the foundation upon which his existence was based. Mitchell was a Klingon actor who appeared on the television show Star Trek Discovery. He also played the role of a Klingon in the show. He went on to portray a number of different roles, including Tanavik, Aurelio, Cole, and Kalsha, among others. It was assumed that each and every one of these features belonged to the Klingon species due to the fact that they had the same physical characteristics. In this conversation, we are talking about the television show, Star Trek, Discovery. Additionally, he was the individual who was responsible for delivering the voices of a substantial number of characters in an episode of Star Trek, Lower Decks. This is an extra point of interest. To put it another way, he was the one who was responsible for achieving this success. His other notable parts include the part of Carol Danvers' father in the movie Captain Marvel and the part of an Olympic hopeful in the movie Miracle. Both of these characters were played by him during his career. It is he who was responsible for both of these roles. It was during the course of his career that he was able to depict both of these characteristics with great success. Both of these roles were entrusted to him, and he was the one who was responsible for fulfilling them. It is generally accepted that both of these images are among the most significant that he has ever had the opportunity to create in his career. This is said to be the case by the majority of people. Mitchell is a well-known actor who has appeared in a broad variety of films. Some of the films that he has appeared in include Jericho, The Astronaut Wives Club, Ghost Whisperer, and Switched at Birth, amongst others. Mitchell has also appeared in a wide range of additional films, in addition to the projects mentioned above. Mitchell disclosed to people in the year 2020 that he had been diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in the year 2018. This information was provided by Mitchell. Over the course of the following year, this material was discussed. Based on the facts presented, it was evident that the diagnosis had been satisfactorily established. It was specifically Mitchell who was responsible for making this information available to the wider public. Beginning in the year 2019 and continuing right up until the present day, the wheelchair had been the primary form of transportation that the actor had utilized throughout his whole career. Through the use of the wheelchair, he had moved from one location to another. He proceeded by saying, I believe that, over the course of time, it became the theme of us accepting this with grace. He was referring to the fact that time had passed. Subsequently, he expressed his belief that this was the case, stating that he knew it to be true. On the other hand, 
The beauty that might be discovered inside it is something that I am looking forward to learning more about, and it is something that I am looking forward to knowing more about. I'll never forget, one of my co-stars on Star Trek told me, because they had been through some challenging times with illnesses and other things, and I remember them communicating to me and saying, you have a choice. I'll never forget it. I will never, ever forget it. I will never, ever forget what happened. What took place is something that I'll never, ever forget. The events that transpired are something that I will under no circumstances forget. I will never, ever forget the events that took place. They are things that I will never forget. It is possible to interpret this in a variety of other ways, but you may opt to think of it as a gift in which you are providing yourself with the opportunity to experience life in a manner that the vast majority of other people do not participate in. This is a gift that you are giving yourself. Regarding the accomplishment of this objective, there is a possibility that you will be successful in the end. He also revealed to people that he was pressured to give up his role as the main character in a television show, which would have required him to move to Newfoundland. He said that this was the reason he decided to give up his role. It was asserted by him that he was no longer capable of meeting the criteria of the place of employment. It was expected that he would move to the location where he currently resides. This action was needed of him since, according to him, he was obligated to carry it out, which is the reason why he was required to carry it out with that aim. Therefore, in order for him to be eligible to reside in Newfoundland, it was necessary for him to satisfy this criterion. The fulfillment of this criteria was obligatory for him. At the time, I was truly interested in the prospect of being in control of the program, and the idea of being the captain of the show was something that I was seriously considering pursuing. I was also impressed by the notion of being in charge of the show. In spite of the fact that everything had been said and done, he continued to insist that it was not the appropriate thing to pursue in relation to the matter at hand. In such circumstance, he made a comment indicating that anything like that was not the appropriate thing to do. He arrived at this conclusion and made this remark after everything that had been said and done reached its culmination. The funeral is still not announced yet, we will update soon as Cole. Mitchell hoped to bring a new perspective on Klingon culture to fans through his turn on Discovery. Whether someone is good or bad is all about perspective, and it's about understanding that culture, he told StarTrek.com in 2017. You'll get to know the Klingons on our show, and then people can decide if we really are the villains. Mitchell is survived by his wife Susan May Pratt and their two children. He requested that any gifts be directed towards amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, research or in support of his children, Lila and Callum. The entire Star Trek family sends their condolences to Mitchell's family, friends, loved ones, and fans around the world. Thanks for watching.